to push that button. And then I think it's this button. Yeah. So there, all right. I got that part of it done. Now, let's see. Now I need, I need at least a sound check from the Yona. Uh, if the Yona can hear me. I don't think the Yona can hear me. Or the Yona's muted. Not on my end. Glass, no longer on mute. No. But perhaps with much echo. Yes, you're in God mode, I believe. You want to turn off God mode? Because uh, we're... Ah, uh, that, that's better, Earthling. Yeah. yeah. There we go. You must have had that on for the Peasants podcast, right? Uh, no, I was uh, recording vocals for uh, the duet I did with Ryan Christian. I'm going to surprise him. You did a surprise duet with Ryan Christian. Yeah, yeah, he's got this song I, called American Dream. So I did the Yona take, which is Merc and Drain. <laughs> I posted it on the Telegram there, I think. The, oh, that's right. That's product. right. I saw that earlier. Um, I don't know if you have heard it, but it's, it's, uh, I mean, you know, when I heard Ryan singing the song all we need is to all we need is a joint to roll right i was like man you know i i'm how you know i can get down with that kind of thing. yeah Woo! oh did yeah. you did you not know that uh ryan partakes oh, oh yeah oh yeah oh, but no. you know having heard I think like 90% of the other, population uh, does, man. I'm almost like convinced right. of that. But I've it's heard just like the, the 10% other song. that ruin it for the rest of us. And those kind of lyrics hadn't really come up in the other songs that I'd heard thus far. But then, but then I gave that a listen all the way through and I was like, Ooh, Oh, you know what? I'm so high. I forgot to hit that button. You didn't notice, but the audience was like, what the hell? Oh, yeah. Where and is I'm... Yona's disembodied voice coming from? And I brought all the mail from yesterday's headlines, both the. Uh... Holy shit. Is that an honest to God newspaper? Yeah, and it's very thin. I've got both newspapers back wow. to back because it, it it's pitiful. It's pit that's both of them. But when I say both, because we've got the, the Charleston Gazette, I believe it is. Right. Um uh, the uh, Charleston, Charleston West mail. Virginia. That's right. Um can we get some more line on this or is that gonna Oh okay, that made it worse. We can, let, let's get it dark. Yeah, that's that's making it better, I think. A little bit. Hydro plant. Now, is yeah. that like, are they talking hydroponics? Uh, no, they want to dam a whole bunch of more hollers full of waters. Oh, damn. To make hydroelectricity. Um, but well, that doesn't we look, sound like fun at all. If we look down on the bottom of the headline page. Hmm. My line in here, bro. Yeah, no, it's the paper. It's the way they print them these days. It's so you can't like use them, you know, as content. It's it's fucking it's vicious. It's a vicious, uh, evil, cutthroat uh -huh. industry. There it is. Can you see Governor's dog recovering from first of two ACL surgeries. Yes, you heard that right. I said Governor's dog, uh, baby dog who's uh, featured prominently on our thumbnail this week, Get Fact Harder, episode 14. Uh, we are having the official surgery party for Baby Dog, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, she has come through with flying colors from her first ACL surgery. So, uh, there it is. Yeah. Baby Dog close <laughs> up from the fucking newspaper. Look at that awesome Come here, Baby Dog. Show people phone. your scar. Uh, but that that's the Charleston paper. And then we have my good old hometown Holy raggedy shit. rag. 
What the, the fuck Herald are they doing that they're trying to distract fat. people from? That's what I want to know. Top fucking headlines. Blam. Oh my god. Like seriously, what is it is it the Lloyd Austin thing? Are they trying to distract people from the fact that we we still don't know if Lloyd Austin is alive or dead yet? Is that what's going on? I don't know what's actually going on in the world, but this shit's like ripped straight out of the fucking onion, man. And then the worst thing is I, I looked at, because all these newspapers were just thrown in the trash, and I was going to get the Tuesday and Monday paper, but they were both talking about the baby dog surgery, too. So at that point, um, now I can throw these yeah. Or, I mean, maybe not Rest necessarily throw them, them in the trash. There is, they return it. Is, is there any? I mean, yeah. Eventually. You can compost them, right? At least. Get some you value know, from them. When I was growing up, we used to save the newspaper and use it for toilet paper. Literally. Sure. It, it'll work we for were, that, too. That, that was a thing that the old folks used to do. Oh, man, I'm so excited, dude. Like, so where I'm using this new digital audio workstation and I record, it doesn't matter what voice I'm using on my piano. It just goes in as a MIDI value. And then I hmm. send it to Deadfella and he can put whatever instrument on it. Well, he hollers at me this morning. Um, and he's like, you know, he didn't say anything about the instruments. I just threw it on him. I was like, hey, man. What do you know about the glass harmonica? The what? The glassophone. The you know the yeah. the musical instrument that Mozart pretty much invented. Um, and I think like Ben Franklin had one of his own because he was a real swag player. God, he got so much pussy in Paris. Anyways, um, yeah, you because know, well, he was James Bond, man. The heyday. Of the instrument, the glass harmonica or the glassophone, as it were, that has several names. Um, the its heyday was from about 1760 to around like 1820, because it's a bunch of wine glasses that have been fitted onto a rotating axle, and you have to wet your fingertips, and it's the same concept as rubbing your finger around the edge of the wine glass except in this case all the wine glasses are spinning and they're not on an axle and you have a wheel that you're like pushing with your foot and it looks like you're knitting a sweater but you're actually operating an instrument and then the other pedal is for sustain and, and you've got uh two bowls of water underneath it to keep hmm. dipping your fingertips in to keep yeah. them wet to, to play it yeah um, it's one of the most dangerous and terrifying instruments on planet earth because when one of those glasses breaks and they do you know there's been fingertips to fly off and everything you know, it's, it's vicious. oh i yeah i could see that happening wow and, and so like and you think your job is dangerous it's just funny like watching the five or six videos i've been able to find of people playing the glass harmonica and looking at the just the complete total terror in their face <laughs> just absolutely scary and so you can see them trembling and then just lightly touching the, the glass, the glasses and pulling oh, off. Shit. Like, I, mean, I, I would, I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know if I want to play it. But, but anyways, so I'm telling uh, Deadfell about this. Uh, and then he was like, yeah, well, I was really, he's like, I was thinking about, you know, need some like different instruments making the cinematic music. I was like, there you go, buddy. Glassophone. The Mozart glassophone. Can't go wrong with fucking Mozart, buddy, when it comes to music. It's like some A1 prime shit. Well, then, he's like, he's like talk about because there's these other invented instruments. I was like, oh, invented instruments. Let me in introduce you to my other little Austrian friends, man. They, they, they've got this freaking instrument that's powered by 2,000 marbles that makes fucking sound that he invented himself. And yeah, so uh, the, this the is what they look like. Clock. Yeah, yeah, there it is, man. 
that motherfucker will eat your fingers off. It I looks like know. it. Yeah, like the last thing I want to do is put my fingers on that. There, I, I think there were so many epic Which I, I breakages. Think, I think I actually that said that to my it, last girlfriend, like word for it word. Kind of if, fell if out of mistaken. you know. It fell out of favor. You know, it 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 it, it had its time. From like, you know, like I said, about maybe for about 60 years, there was the heyday of the glass harmonica, 1760 to 1820. So, you know, when there was the first Independence Day parties, I'm talking July 4th, 1776. And, you know, Ben Franklin was probably banging at least seven bitches with the finest yeah. sweet hemp, as Lincoln would describe it. Um, Oh yeah, right. we'll get Franklin to the was Trevor G, Moore man. remix. I did. Yeah. We'll we'll get to the Trevor Moore remix in a minute. But um, oh my he god, he was a certified globetrotter, man. Like before globetrotting was even a thing, he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna make this." He shit was. Cool. I I I got it. I got it right here. Ben Franklin was the Ron Jeremy of the 18th century, the original American hedgehog. Cut loose in Paris. <laughs> See, Going from one glass of foam party to another. Because it was one thing of status to have just like some boring ass fucking grand piano there. And somebody playing a grand piano. But if you got somebody playing a fucking Mozart glass of foam. You know what I'm saying? And then in the middle of the concert it, it breaks and it shreds one of their fingers. That's fucking epic. Yeah. That's an epic 18th century sexual romp at the fucking Chateau de Versailles. Yeah, now, especially if it takes out their middle finger, yeah. right? Because that's like almost impossible to get to stop bleeding. Yeah. If you catch it and give it back to them, they can sew it back on. They were good back then. Hmm. And by sew it back on, I mean you would just get a wooden nub sewed back on. No, Yeah. They wouldn't. yeah. Uh, welcome, surgery. welcome everybody. We're not even 15 minutes in, and uh, we're already reattaching body parts. Yeah, so, I, so I turn them on to all here. this stuff. I, yeah. I, I turn them on all this stuff, but I did mean to, you know, we, we went through the headlines of the local news here, and so I'm, hmm. you know, I felt a responsibility to keep people in, in greater earthdom aware of the inner workings and the latest greatest news from West Virginia Dem. Yeah. And um we're basically still talking about a dog's ass. Yeah. Um well you know Yona, I wonder if cuz uh, hopefully we get and different the dog media, too. right? Yeah. Yeah. But hopefully like huh. you and I are getting fed different media by the algorithms, right? Like we shouldn't be getting exactly the same thing because that's not how it's designed to work. It's supposed to be tailored to the end user, right? To keep them engaged, keep them enthralled. Oh, that's the best part of all. Right. Where I've got my latest, greatest um, YouTube personality, Smoke More of the Weeds. Yeah. People figure out it's me really quick. For oh, some reason. Well, I'm sh yeah, of course. Smoke like More of the Weeds. I mean, that's kind of my thing. But um, well, no, I'm wondering if Joe Biden has been paying attention to the local news there in West Virginia lately, because I heard him say very clearly earlier this week on on something on a screen somewhere. He said Americans are tired of being played for suckers. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Well, take that, you dog faced pony soldiers. Yeah, that you know, God, isn't I thought Jim Justice was going to run for Senate or, yeah, I think he's running for Senate to replace Manchin because Manchin's going to retire to his mansion. Oh, I thought he was going to run for president. I thought that. Was oh, that's plan. right. That's right. Yeah. Get a get a, a good Italian boy back in the White House. Well, I wonder what happened with that. You know, he's he hasn't been in the headlines lately, right? Like, yeah. he hasn't been one of the senators that they've been covering extensively. Like, he's just kind of... Maybe he's dark horsing it. Maybe he's in the back of the field, you know. It's like horse racing. He's just waiting for the quarter stretch, and then, and then he's going to 
come out wide on the outside, race to the finish. Maybe he's going to be a VP maybe candidate. He, maybe he can beat out Gavin Newsom after they um, chuck fucking Biden off the train. Maybe he's going to be a VP candidate. Speaking of all these presidents, possibly one of the hippest fucking songs that's ever been made regarding the founding fathers mm -hmm. would happen to be a song by that very name, founding fathers, originally uh, composed and rapped by none other than one of the whitest kids you know, Trevor Moore. And uh, I heard that shit. So I had to rip the acapellas off that and put it on that punky ass DJ Hi Yona beat. And so I made that killer fucking Trevor Moore remix for you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Is that in the Telegram channel somewhere? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I got to use Sorry, I'm being distracted. Let's see, because I got two computers here, one on the left and one on the right. I gave you food. Go eat. GTW Liberty Radio. No, I don't want the back channel. I want the main channel. There we go. Oh, my God. George Soros image. Just, whoa. Whoa. What? Whoa. The George Soros face. Yikes. Um, uh, Merck and Drake. No, that's no, not doing what it. happened. Oh my god, that uh, okay. So, what song was I looking for? Uh, uh Trevor Moore, uh, Trevor Moore, the founding father. Yeah, that one. Yeah, oh, I can just hit search, but I mean, yeah, I know it's in there. Oh, but maybe I should share it in the Discord. That's an MP3, and then you can just play it. Mm, will that work? I think that'll work. I think it worked before. I, Let's go over here. Do I have yeah, the... I think... Yeah. Well, we'll see. We can always see. Uh, all, right. all right. Go play with the shadows again. All right? And see, I've got doing. the computer open over here, too. So now I can use the computer on the right hand. But it's a little bit slower. But it's got all the files on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's one on the left is just doing all the streaming extreme dream stuff. Because I've learned now, I've always got at least two, maybe three devices. Like whenever I stream myself that way, you know. When one thing crashes, the show is still going. Nah. Man. I haven't learned that lesson yet. Oh. Yeah. Remember, backup plan. And back up to the backup plan. Consult LD for further details. He knows. The shit happens. Like, bro, how many made shows on Grand Theft World has has it, the stream just like totally shit the bed, and then there ends up being like two or three different fucking rock fans. <laughs> oh, really? Feeds for the same show, and then like I guess he had to go back later and stitch it all back together. Funny McFun stuff. <laughs> and then compress it all down. That's what I need to learn, man. Yeah. That's not I hard. need to work on my compression game. You know, if I would compress my data better, I wouldn't have all these data storage issues. Well, yes and no. It depends on it's it's the holding on to stuff, right? That's what ends up eating all your storage space. You're like, oh, I've got to hold on to all my stuff. That's, again, why I love Odyssey. Because I know whenever I want, I can go and pull it down from Odyssey. No problem. It's right there. And so Odyssey acts as my storage closet, among other oh. things. Yeah. Yeah, I was just remembering, stop. man. I just finally remember, you know, where I was remixing... Ryan Christian's song, American Dream. I had my own song, American Dream, that I did in English and in Spanish, El Sueño Gringo, The American Dream. 
and I made a fucking killer video for it, the song and everything. Can't find a single copy of it, but I had it on my YouTube channel, which was deleted, which was my first YouTube channel. And the more I think about it, man, there's so many songs that I just don't have that are from, you know, 2006, 7, 8. Oh, oh really old, really old Yona shit that I would love to have back. Man. I'm on camera right now. Okay, yeah. All right. You need We've to got take the a pause? update. We're good to go. All right. We're good to go. I'm um, just finding the song Founding Fathers. Okay. Where? Well, now I've got the MP3 on Telegram already. So if you go to Grand Theft World yeah, but it Radio. We've been over this. Telegram doesn't play nice with the streamers. Oh, that's right. Because they're trying to do their own McFuck streaming sauce. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's All retarded. Right. It's absolutely retarded. Even I haven't been able to get the streaming function on Telegram working. Let's but apparently uh, the aforementioned Ryan Christian has because I've seen that he has been streaming on Telegram uh, quite a few days this uh -huh. week. I found it. We're in high cotton. So I've got founding fathers, founding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven founding fathers. But uh, I'll be right back. All right. Which one? Fuck. I must give it some fucked up name. Uh. What the fuck would I call it? Uh, I, I think there was something. Maybe it was smoke more of the weeds or. What the fuck did I call it, man? Stoned more the founders. There you go. Widest remix. Been Found you, bitch. Yeah, I've been through the entire day today, right? Cat has been like just unreal. She's been so so uh, quiet <laughs> and reserved, and waits until this very moment to start going fucking psycho. Perfect, right on time. Right on time. Uh, well, I mean, that's what she gets paid for, right? She creates content. Oh, there it is. All right, now I got the screen. Okay, so I sent. The song is now called Stoned More the Founders. Okay. Widest Remix. Why yes widest. it is. Uh, in loving memory, may he rest in power. Trevor Moore. Breaking it down. You know, when I heard this, I was like, oh, I got to read this. This is something else. So this have you have you published this anywhere yet? No. Oh wow. No, this is a secret song. It, it, it's only on secret your Telegram. Song. Wow. Yeah. It's only on your Telegram, and then right, maybe right now. Well, damn. That's and buckle I mean, up, Buckaroos. Five point harness. Yeah, that's worth the price of admission. All right, you ready? Here we go. Live from the 300 and so The name is George Washington, but it's the general to you Or you could call me President 1 or 3 or 2 And you probably heard a lot of silly stories about me But let me lay it down how raw I really used to be I got a hemp operation back at the plantation Selling the stickiest shit around the new nation So come run and find me if you wanna get high Cause honestly, I got the bombers that can not tell a lie of course I'm gonna try Bag it up and break it And then just let them buy it And if the Brits wanna come And take Man, a piece of the cut I'll raise a whole fucking army Let them see what's what The king's like Yo, I gotta get paid I'm like tough titty Cause y'all's a whole ocean away And you can try to send some ships To come and make me pay up But that's an awful long way Just to suck these nuts You get my fucking message, son 
Take it, Thomas Jefferson. Sell drugs, run guns, nail sluts, and fuck the law. We're founding fathers, we're rush more shit, and we were all high balls. The Declaration of Independence I wrote so high, I'm surprised it makes sense, but we find these truths to be self-evident. It goes pop, pop, pass, the next round you get skipped. Abe Lincoln, I know what you're thinking. Greatest president ever, I'll have what he's drinking. Uh -huh. Yeah, well see, that's where you'd be wrong, cause if you wanna chill with me, you better go and grab that bomb. Or an apple or a can, see you do not understand. Faded 24-7, cause that's just the way I am. I can see you're having a little trouble believing me. Then check this letter that I wrote, reported down in history of him. Two of my favorite things are sitting on my porch, and smoking a pipe of that sweet hemp. Of course, that's a quote that I wrote while I was still in office. But enough of that, I am too high, I have to back up office. Where's my horse? I think I need to go and ride him home. I was supposed to leave a baffle score in 20 rips ago You see my hat, I like it, I kinda think it looks like a stove Scratch it, pass it one more time and let me hit it for the road Sell drugs, run guns, nail sluts, and fuck the law We're founding fathers, we're rush more shit, and we were all highs balls And don't let them try and tell you we grew We're just a rope, you can check what we wrote down in our harvest notes We separated seeds that we found more potent In layman's terms, we were into getting bent Smoking out the Continental Congress Everybody's bitches be like all up on us Patrick Henry's in the corner looking pretty well spent Ben Franklin got so hot he forgot to be president Your girl just said she never had it hit so good Smoke so many trees that my fucking tea turned wood And if they make a monument to me when I die It'll be a giant abstract joint up in the sky But you know they're gonna whitewash me Make up some coin shit about me chopping cherry trees It's hard to control the people if the founders are thugs So they'll just teach that I was all prayers, puppies, and hugs but that just ain't the way it was We set this whole place up with a hell of a buzz So next time they try and tell you that this stuff is wrong Look at a dollar, light a blunt, fucking sing my song Sell drugs, run guns, nail sluts, and fuck the law We're founding fathers, we're rush more shit, and we were all highs balls the Declaration of Independence I wrote so high, I'm surprised it makes sense But we find these truths to be self-evident It goes pop, pop, pass, the next round you get skipped We're the founders, and we found this And we found it, this on cannabis We're the founders, and we found this And we found it, this on cannabis Mount Rushmore Brutal Stone Monument to some monumental stoners Gene <laughs> Washington Jefferson and A. Lincoln and fuck that other guy. Alan Coolidge, brother of fuck. We history. I endorse this message. <laughs> I do. That's right on. Now, if you look above that, um, in a little while we can hit him with that. Uh, Ryan Christian duet. Oh yeah. Those, Did uh, you send me that on Discord too? Uh yeah, that's on Discord. If you look uh up above the stream. Is that the line. homie remix? Yes. Right. Mark and Dream. Yeah, I do have that. Homie do that. remix. All right, we'll keep that um, in our back pocket. Don't tell anybody about that. Um which I already shared it. Let me check over here in wire. Which that's his own little spot, but he was doing a show, and he may, he may go long. You know, sometimes it gets three, four hours long. Um, he gets. What you talking about, T Lav? Yeah, yeah. He puts out some long shows. Yeah, he's sometimes like, all right, I'm only gonna be here for an hour, and three hours later. But you know, long is relative because you know when you're talking about length. As the ladies and the gentlemen know, no one goes longer than Grand Theft World, baby. Every Sunday night, I'm waiting for you. Like like Luther Vandross or Teddy Pendergraft. That's right. That's right, baby. Like your Sunday gospel. That 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 chariot has swung down low, sweet Sadie, and come to pick you up in that nice that's, big old Cadillac. Yeah. yeah. Fun fact, that's why both Richard and Tony are taken. Yeah. That's Most people right. don't know that. That's, That's true. Right. Yep. So you know they get back hard. Absolutely. You know, you especially know. every Thursday night. Here we are, number fourteen. Yeah. Quickly down the gullet, um, and you know, I just feel like we're in the midst of the calm before the storm because 
I'm going to say it now. Although it's the Ides of February, St. Ides, I've got my 40 chilling for the Ides of March. Oh, yeah. Beware the Ides of March. I think that was shaking his fear that said that one. Yes, in, in, one of those, in the uh, uh, Caesar play. Yeah. Caesar salad. Hmm. With those fellow dressing. Don't use the Oedipus dressing unless you like mayonnaise. I don't anyway. know. I mean, does it even really matter anymore at this point? Like, is it is it just ritual for the sake of ritual at this point? Uh... That's kind of what I thought when I heard news of the uh, impeachment of Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Yeah. Or, or as time, Lady though. Gaga would say, Ale Alejandro, Ale Alejandro. It's been a while since I remixed uh, Lady Gaga. Um, and it's going to be a while longer, bitch. Anyways... Uh, I remember that time John Norris from MTV was um, interviewing Lady Gaga, mm-hmm. and he just immediately pissed her off with the first question, and it, it just got feistier and feistier. Nothing like a I would imagine, um, you know, nothing like a feisty interview, and uh, she finally uh, ripped Mike, and and I don't know what she. I think he he made a crack. He cracked a joke about her meat suit right off the first rip, and it, it didn't land. It's you know, vegans take their their beliefs serious. Well, of course they do. Laugh. But they have to, because meat is the antichrist. Mm, whatever. When 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 Jesus undoes his loincloth. Ain't no meat there. Vegans, no. Fucking Brock. <laughs> right. And in three days it rises. And that's how you get broccoli uh, and cheese. And and now, who don't love broccoli and cheese? Get it out Come of on. Your imagination. Not as permanently in your mind's cheese. eye. That's how that your image. soul gets redeemed. That's broccoli right. and cheese. It takes three days for the cheese to appear. <laughs> it's the ascension process. Anyway. Because otherwise, how are you going to resurrect broccoli without the fucking cheese? No one's eating that plain. Yeah. How vegan are you? Well, we have because our answer, Biscotti. We know how high the owner is. Non-dairy vegan cheese, of yeah. course. Didn't take long to get wound up tonight. That's that's always good. That's good. <laughs> the rest of the show will benefit from it. Oh, that leads me to one of my most favorite tramp stamps of all time. Look down the Yona. And tramp stamp bread fucked me. And that's when the Yona knew vegans are really lovers. Hmm. She was a vegan? Well, I mean, the tramp stamp said it all. Fuck me. Mm. And it, it had a double entendre. You know, and I also realized the other day, uh, Major, uh, Major High Yona driving down the road and thought to myself, looking at all these different vehicles. And I, I started to pay attention and realize every one of these vehicles has a fucking tramp stamp. BMW's got its little tramp stamp. The Ford, the Chevy, the Toyota, the Honda, the Hyundai, the Kia. They all got their own little cute little tramp stamps. And some of them really yeah. go all out with like the, the, the bumper with extra fucking bumper stickers. I mean... I mean, wow, it's like, you know, literally, I, I, and some of them glow in the dark, so it's like you can literally land a fucking in the dark. Wow. Like you could jump from a trampoline and land in that pussy in the dark because it's got glow in the dark fucking tramp stamps on the back of those fucking vehicles. Crazy. Well, I, I can see how that would be an evolutionary advantage. So, you know, maybe that's not such a bad thing. You got to take time out to read the tramp stamps in life. And I know I know they're on a certain level of class and elegance when it's written in cursive. 
because you know they're they're speaking to a boomer lover, obviously. Mm. They know no one else. Hey, Yona. unless you're like into calligraphy, maybe you know. Did, and, did and there's you know? also people that collect stamps and you know coins. Well, yeah, I collect wins, and I got a win this week. Yeah, believe it or not, I actually got a win this week. Well, I mean, kind of. Everyone's going to brush it off and say it didn't actually happen. But did you know that I correctly predicted the winner of the Super Bowl back in like, I think it was the first part of November of 2023? Well, I thought you said the Chiefs were going to win. Yeah. Oh, were you at that town hall? Yeah. 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 And and guess what? You also predicted it would be a, a miraculous win. Well, excuse me. Wasn't it a, a winning touchdown in overtime? I don't know. I didn't watch. I don't pay what attention I heard, to sports But I mean, it sounds anymore. pretty miraculous to me. Uh, overtime? I mean, how many Super Bowls go to the dramatic. overtime period? Yeah. yeah. It sounds like if, if you were going to, I don't know, make a movie or something like that, you'd write a script where, you know, it's like at the very, you know, as the clock is expiring, Right. You know, the triumphant victors of the sports ball claim their their vaunted prize and uh, get showered with uh, gold and champagne and diamonds. I don't know. I don't know how to write this shit. I had a 1930s-like experience with this year's Super Bowl because I just happened to hop in the vehicle to go do some work, some dory dashies. And when I hopped in, I figured it would already be over. But lo and behold, it was about, apparently about 20 seconds into the, be- into the beginning of the overtime period, and it's on the fucking radio as I'm driving down the road. So it's like all of a sudden, my vehicle transformed into like a, I don't know, like a Ford Model T, and I had my hat on, and it's like I transformed into a moonshiner bootlegger you know trying to out outrun the fucking revenueers and my model t and i'm listening to the footballers game on the radio device you know mm-hmm. and yeah you're, you're making black, fun white. but those times might be coming back yeah that they're almost here we already see we're I going so. backwards and we're everything's going backwards we're not progressing we're regressing yeah behold the great you know, the great recession Led to the great, great regression. Yes. There you go. There you go. Um, emphasis on the aggression part. Well, yeah, because, um, of course, Klaus was trying to rebrand uh, technocracy this week, right? Like he, was, he was trying to, to put a new face on the Great Reset and said he, he made this, uh, I guess it was at the World Government Summit, made this impassioned plea uh, for us to create the first humanocracy in world history. What the fuck is that? Don't we already have that? Don't want we already have shitty government run by human beings? Hum- a humanocracy for planet Earth had reeks of so much new world odor. I smell like octogenarian nutsack. Anyways, back to you, Drip. Ugh. Don't I have a fucking spray can? It smells like Klaus Schwab's balls, man. Fuck. Oh, wow. Could you imagine? You, you've seen the picture of him in that bathing Ugh. suit, I guess. Oh. It's like and you know, covering you've got to know when, when Berlusconi and oh. Maloney we're out there in fucking La Sicilia at the fucking bunga bunga parties. Oh, you know, yeah. Klaus Schwab yeah. was up in that shit. Oh, no doubt. I mean, M- Maloney, Maloney is, 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 is a straight yeah. hoe for fucking. She's one of those yeah. wet young leaders. She's man. like the Kamala Harris of Italy. Yeah. Think about that. That, that actually. That would mean that yeah. Willie Brown is on the level of Silvio Berlusconi. That's then. right. Yeah. Big pimping. Pimping, since pimping, been pimping. Pat of the hand and smack. 
And that's how you get back Carter. We take it. We take you all the way back to that day one shit, homies. Yeah. And which reminds me, you know, uh, I was trying to think of when I first started following Ryan Christian, and it was in 2008, which is a fucking fucking time. That was a while ago. That was that was 15 years ago, Yona. Yeah, but More I mean, it's that. like that with fucking, because uh, that's around the same time I started following Corbett Report. When he was still like bald and all shaved, and you know, and he looks different now. You know, he, he looks like I don't know, maybe ten, fifteen years older now, but which which is to be expected. That's normal. It's called aging. But um, Corbett and and that's the first I heard about James Evan Pilato because he was always on the Friday shows with the New World. Um, how time has flown it's 2024 now yeah the eyes of february and um the newspaper has shrunk to literally you know i didn't even go over the the national news yeah. but you have to flip past all of the updates on the governor's dog's butthole surgery So, so where is you know, the actual this is value some in that newspaper, shit. right? Like, what's, what's a reason to hold on to it even? Um, oh, wow. So, where's the, where's the national news, man? Okay, Marshall National News. Bill loosening liability rules for alcohol, alcohol sales. Opinion. It's, it's, bro, there ain't no. Oh, here we go. Blam! And we get to page six. Mm -hmm. Biden. Opposing Ukraine funding is playing into Putin's hand. Oh, don't force the Putin. It'll be more than a fart. <laughs> Fast moving winter storm brings. Well, that's probably the things. politics section, right? Mardi Gras. You should take I out totally your anal that was Mardi week. Gras beads at this point. It's time to take them out and soak them off. Um, two fired utility executives and former Ohio regulator plead not guilty to $60 million bribery scheme. Hmm. Uh, I don't wow, know about I, that one. Wow, I, that's a long article there. I the TLDR Ooh. on that. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? <laughs> Obituaries. Uh, ha -ha! Kentucky lawmakers advance proposed property tax freeze for older homeowners. Oh, well, that's nice of them. Well, uh, that's nice. Yeah. There you Republican go. There's there's Senator government Jimmy doing Gates. something for you. Holy shit. We'll stop stealing from you for a little bit. How about Republican that? Republican Senator Does that sound Jimmy good? Higdon said that he supported the proposed constitutional change on behalf of all the older Kentuckians who have called me begging for relief from the property taxes. Okay, Senator Jamie Higdon, I personally know. He personally knows the Yona because Jamie Higdon's from Lebanon, Kentucky in Marion County, where I practiced as the Marion County land surveyor, I don't know, for about 30 fucking years. Having surveyed, because Higdon was the local grocer. He had Higdon's Grocery and owned properties everywhere. Higdon's one of the big families in Lebanon. A anyway, worked with Jimmy Higdon many a time. And there he is in my, oh my God, front to back, 10 pages. So it's five pages folded over. And that's it for the Herald Dispatch. The rest is. Sports ball coverage of the local team. We are Mars Hall or Marshall. You can do it as two words or one. It's your call. Mars Hall, Marshall, same thing. Like Marshall Mathers. Or is it Mars Hall Mathers? Hmm. Well, anyway. he's from Michigan. That's right. Eight Mile Road, buddy. 
You know, I, I used to live right by Eight Mile Road myself. It's probably eight. whatever the most uh, redneck pronunciation of it is, would be my from, guess. From the time when I was a year and a half old until I was four years old, I lived in Gross Point Park, Michigan, right off of Eight Mile Road. No shit. That's right, right down right the road rabbit. from Slim Shady. That's right. So there you go, West Damn. Virginia truth music rapper, as James Evan Pilato calls me. Turns out, literally, grew up on eight fucking mile road in Wayne County, Michigan. What are How the odds? How you like that? How, what are the odds? What are the odds? Detroit roots in the Yona. So let's get over here to page two. How sends DEP CO2 injection well primacy bill to gov? Whoa, that. Man, that's a lot. Was that of English? What, what language was on, that? Mike, what were you speaking? Uh, all right. We're, let's see here. The West Virginia House of Delegates has sent to the governor's desk. I've got to use my 1930s reporter voice. Hang on, just a second. Let, let me load up this voice. The West Virginia House of Delegates has sent to the governor's desk a bill aimed at helping the state. Obtain primary enforcement authority over wills to inject carbon dioxide into deep rock formations for long-term underground storage. The House concurred with technical changes. The Senate made the House I'm Bill you said that. 5045 approved that the Senate Bill set it up to become law with approval from Governor Jim Justice. If baby dog approves. HB, that's House Bill... 5045 sailed through both chambers of votes by 32 0 in the Senate and previously 94 to 3 in the House. State officials have said House Bill 5045 is a response to the Environmental Protection Agency asking the state to make changes to its code in pursuit of that regulatory authority. The State Department of Environmental Protection has sought prime enforcement authority or primacy over the federal class six injection well program. Three states currently have such authority. North Dakota, Wyoming, and Louisiana. Long term underground storage through plastic. Well, that's right down the road from me. Is aimed at reducing carbon dioxide emissions and slowing the pace of climate change. But West Virginia environmentalists have argued the DEP, oh, that's the Department of Environmental Penetration, um, yeah, lacks the funding or staffing. They, uh, yeah, it is the Dep Department of Environmental uh, the Department of Environmental Penetration lacks the proper staffing <laughs> to take on the responsibility of yeah. such primacy. How you like that, Les Claypool? Talk uh, about manufacturing reality. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Burmis agrees. Jesus Christ. Okay, and then, all right, West Virginia Senate overwhelmingly passes school discipline. This is still not national news, man. Come on, Charleston Gazette. I don't give a fuck. That Why would they give you, dude, there. you can get national news anywhere. Like, you can get national news from, from Google. Like, how does that work exactly? You're a search engine, but you're also, like, a trusted news source, huh? What? Wow. Wow. So let's see here. Tired of more dirty gains from dirty industries, and the foster care system remains a complete nightmare for kids. Uh, all right. Well, at least they're keeping up with human trafficking. Hmm. Uh, what else is it? And then we've got the, the highway traffic report as well. Let's see. Weather. Uh, <laughs> they have weather on the nines in the Gazette. Oh, right. And. <laughs> All right, remove gas, oil, and property tax sunset. I am interested to know how far out does the weather forecast go? How many days out do they go? It's just for today. This is the oh. daily paper. See, That's they're why. smart. This one is only they're smart. Four pages yeah. folded over. Four pages folded over and five pages folded. Over. But oh, wait a second. What? That's this? really small. Why are they even still bothering to print? Wow, what's this? 
Canal Metro. Bam. It's not Kanawa. Yeah, that's what uh, out of town people say. Kanawa. And that's what the GPS says too. It's funny. It's Canal. And, you know, yeah. the, the, the H and the A at the end is like silent. I'm sorry, I no. was having uh, an OBD in it's the moment. Kind of... um, oh my god. Oh wow, this, this is so... Oh uh, yeah, this is going to the track. This just <laughs> got so boring so fast. Wow. It's like when that guy was reading from All Moby right. Dick. Well, that was and excellent he just flipped, research. He just flipped to some page in Moby Dick and, you know, by Herman Mill and it, Melville, and it just was immediately gay as fuck. Right. Like, wow. Really gay. It's like sperm whale gay. Oh, yeah. Is it is it as gay as how Israel chose to celebrate the Kansas City Super Bowl win? Even gayer. Yeah? Even gayer. Do you, do you know what, what Israel did to celebrate Kansas City Super Bowl win? Did you hear about that? No. They bombed the fuck out of Rafa. Again? Yeah. Well, that was when they did it. They were like, all right, everybody's oh, attention is somewhere chance. else. Yep. Yep. Kind of like what's been going on the entire rest of the week, too. You know, I just feel I like actually, it's been uh, like nothing but distraction after distraction. Like, look over here. I actually here. have a song. That I wrote about the destruction of Rafa called Ya Rafa. That's way older than Phosphor Size. That's one of my Gaza Strip songs from like fucking three years ago. Wow. How you like that? You know what I'm saying? I, I've been on to fucking Israel since um, about 1979. Oh, yeah? What tipped you off? The ever increasing uh, budget disbursements, and all of a sudden they took primacy in like what 1984. Yeah, Again, with the year 1984. Yeah. yeah. After they, you know, there's the, some who I'm say talking about the the, the, the number that, one but... winner of uh, quote unquote foreign military aid. United States. Mm -hmm. Because now they get to the tune of about. Was it like two hundred seventy billion dollars a year or something? Oh, I don't know. I don't even pay attention to those numbers anymore. In the latest appropriations bill, Israel's getting funding for their iron beam laser. Hmm. Their their space laser. Yeah, for ground use. Wow. Bzz. I don't. I don't think I can actually say the phrase anymore. I think it's been trademarked. Yeah. Like matter of That's fact, right, I, I think the only way they're going to need all it, the weapons they can muster for the paragliding jihadi marmots. If I can, and the jihadi do it, groundhogs, let me see. and the jihadi squirrels, and jihadi chipmunks, and don't we all know jihadi camels? Yeah. That's why Joe Camel got banned. Way too jihadi. And nothing is as jihadi in the insect world as a bunch of scarabs. Hmm. I thought I had loaded it into the sound bank, but I don't think I did, unfortunately. Because that would have been, been awesome if I had. So, are you ready to hit him with that uh, Mark and Dre? Oh, yeah. I got this whole bowl packed up here. All right. And, you know, I, perhaps I should have rolled a joint, but uh, sorry, Ryan. I, you know, you can ask Pasta. I've been smoking this pipe for years. I, he, he smoked it himself. So, there you go. Oh, nice. Shout out Pasta. Um, although he's grown his hair a little bit different now. He's, he's more like Gordon's Fisherman type, you know. With a little bit. A right. little bit. We need to get him one of those hats. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be that would be a good look, I think. Yeah, he he could totally pull it up. We got to send him up to like, uh, I mean, he he almost looks like maybe like a Maryland crabber or something. I bet LD. 
I bet LD could totally put them on for you know the the the, the waiters and all that shit like like a true Maryland crabber. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what I'm saying crabbing so the shores of the Chesapeake Bay. All right. So let's play this <laughs> so that we can come back and get to the other side to the, the really important stuff that of course everybody tuned in for. All right. Here, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, we're we're going to ruin the American dream for you. Cuz well, actually it was already ruined. We're just describing what happened. Here we go. <laughs> Step into this world with all your hopes and dreams of everything they told you could possibly be. Right in the beginning, it starts out slow. One by one, you watch your dreams go as they tell you what to do with the rest of your life. Maybe I should rap. Oh yeah, I did. Things ain't the same, no murk and drain. Bring gas and flame, how you own the name? Media all tame, propaganda lame. Change the frame, such narrative tame. Still banging the dame, tramp stamp game. Straight tramp stamp game. I said things ain't the same, no murk and drain. Bring a gas and flame, how you own the name? Media's all tame, propaganda lame. Change the frame, such narrative tame. Things ain't the same. I mean, man, 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 Narrative tame, still banging the dame, tramp stamp game. Straight tramp stamp game. What happened to the plans that you set on the shelf? Your travels, your dreams, and your thoughts for yourself. Looks like you chose what they said was best for you. Now your money and your objects 
become yourself. Oh, you got like some MK Ultra shit going on there at the end. That's pretty wild. I like that. Oh yeah, I dig that. Yeah. That's you have to hot, manufacture man. your own reality. Yeah. Sometimes. I'll play that what shit happened? on Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I dig it. <laughs> I don't know. If Remember Ryan's to question everything it. and stay vigilant, my friends. <laughs> Had to show some love to Ryan there. Well, you're the one that turned me on to that song, I think. You're well, the yeah. one that. That was you shared uh, what, the link yesterday, to... today, yeah, something. I don't know. I think today. Shared was it, with it me today? This morning no, was, it had to like... been yesterday because today was a clusterfuck, man. Like from the moment I got up, just clusterfuck all day. It's if y'all if y'all ever so, wonder what it's like to to live like actually live in the Liberty Radio universe, it's pretty fucked up most of the time. So I made that remix today. Uh, was it today? Yeah, I think I got the link from you this morning. And then I was like, right. wow, that, that song slaps. Ooh, I, I should remix that. And, and I did. Damn. And, That's and if you, around. if you listen to, <laughs> you listen to that remix and then listen to the original. That's quite a remix. Oh yeah, from from the original with the guitar and yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you, man. I I had to do a lot. So I guess this I means I have it. to put I, the I link in out. the and in the chat say, for people so they can find the original. Now when that you say I had to them do a it. lot, you know, it's it's not that it was. It's just that I I put a lot of effort into it. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. So. Yesterday at 104, you shared with me SoundCloud, The Last American Vagabond, Ryan Christian. Yeah, okay, so it was yesterday. All right. At 104. Uh, so I'm well, not crazy. In. Yeah, so then I log in to, to Dick Sword today at 12 noon. And I see that, and I'm like, oh, that's nice. Or, no, it was midnight. 12 on 1 midnight, I see that, and I'm like, nice. Well, then I wake up this morning, today at 8.22, and I'm like, I'm going to remix a ride. I, I got to figure that. And so, you know, the first thing I had to do is get that fucking bass. It started with the do 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 do, 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 do. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, all right, I got this bass. And then, you know, I layer it all together. I got all the music. And then I bring in the vocals. And I'm like, hmm. I don't know. It's just like, you know, when I'm going through it, like, to keep it, like, groovy and everything and make sure that the words hit on the right spot. You know, you got to move everything around it rearrange the words i remixed the fuck out of that song but yeah you did a good job there's just I'm one impressed. there's just one mix of that song like that Whereas, sounds like other remixes that i've heard before where it's like not even close to what the original sounded like but it it just fucking works yeah yeah because it because the beat slaps yeah because that beat fucking slaps man. but like when I say I remixed, you know, if I was ever going to say that I've remixed the fuck out of any song, that award's going to have to go to Norman fucking Finkelstein. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. As it stands, there's currently seven fucking remixes of the same damn song. Um, Dr. Finkelstein. Because it, it started out Actually, as a George Clinton I thought you were talking remix. about a different song. Damn. Started out as a George Clinton Parliament Funkadelic remix. Right. And slowly it morphed into 
many different things. It, it took on many different forms. And so many, in fact, there's seven fucking remixes for this one song. So like a I Hydra. It, it became a um, Hydra. Yeah. And, you know, I was thinking about it. And I was like, you know, it could be one of those songs that I could just keep fucking remixing. Who knows how many remakes, you know, there, there's probably going to just end up being an entire album by DJ Hyona called Dr. Funkelstein, which is going to be like 14 tracks. And they're all different all versions remixes. of Dr. Funkelstein. Of, so <laughs> it's going to be like an hour long of Baron Norman Finkelstein make the same exact coaching argument about so it'll be it'll be brainwashing Gaza. is what it'll be it'll be yeah, brainwashing you know because i'm trying to finish out the songs for my palace stone album but those songs you know have to be like you know obviously they have to be like mids east gaza specific you know mm. at least mids east and so you know not every song that I'm doing every day is going to fit. But that one does. Dr. Funkelstein definitely fits. So I went with the the fifth. It was the fifth remix. That, the that fifth. One day. The fifth. The one, two, three, four, fifth. <laughs> I, I would I would smack the desk, but it would be quite loud, and it might actually jar some things loose. So I'm not going to do Man, that. There, there's so many things I can do now with Studio One and with Audacity. Yeah, there's so many things I can do Dude. now that I couldn't do like a year or two ago, and so like. Dude, it was. I'm just excited going <clears throat> back to older songs. Like like, mm -hmm. uh, Dead Fella is going to redo the song Aton Anonymous with me. And that's the first song you ever played of mine on yes, it, yes, it was. World Radio way back when. Yeah. It's like probably two years ago at this point. But one of the rap songs that I'm going to go back and remix, probably going to record fresh vocals uh, on that, is New Dominion State. Oh, nice. Going to trap fuck out of that it's going to be the nova remix because nova you know yeah northern virginia northern and for virginia. those that know dominion know. state that's right super supernova right. uh tyson's corner get your shopping in anyways <laughs> yeah. no it is the epitome of consumer <laughs> culture ask anybody that lives in virginia and they will tell you that it is absolutely hey, don't be sleeping on nova state. just because it says resting don't be sleeping yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, you oh, had, look, you look, look at those sterling there. condominiums. Ooh, shiny in the sun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you had to take us there, Yona. Uh, so <laughs> the, the parasites out there in the District of Criminals, along with their counterparts in other governments, in other countries, in other parts of the world, all this week, we're having hearings and uh, making public appearances, you know, uh, doing the rounds, as they say in the business. Uh, the, the government officials were doing the rounds this week, and they were all talking about how we need to start combating disinformation oh, online. Oh, finally. All in lockstep, coincidentally. Like, it just all happened organically, all at the same time, all oh, this week. Great. Isn't God that amazing? That, God knows what I'm, are the I'm already being um, inundated with so much actual verified information, like... Um, What was it again? What I mean, has is is that technically can we call that a miracle that all these world leaders were somehow thinking the exact same thing at the exact same time all across the planet? 
Does that qualify as a miracle? Can somebody fact check that? You know, I just realized every single headline has a fucking acronym in it. Well, are you too lazy to write anterior cruciate ligament? Yes. Come on, you sorry fuckers. For first of... Well, maybe they get paid by the letter. Surgery on the other hind knee is planned in the next two to four months. Justice confirmed the need for the surgeries. Well, yeah, because she has to go through uh, rehab February for 7th. this surgery before you can do the other surgery. Don't, don't you yeah. know anything about sports medicine, Yona? Both ACL. I mean, if you've seen Baby Dog, Baby Dog's put on a lot of weight. But Baby Dog eats oh, yeah. good. Well, that's probably why she tore her ACL. Unfortunately, you know, you get West older, Virginia stuff doesn't bounce back like it used to, especially Listen, if you're carrying uh, that extra weight. Good. I mean, ask anybody in the NFL in their 30s, man. They'll tell you the same. I'm happy to report that the Charleston Gazette Mail and the Huntington Herald baby dog are being doing their part what that is. to fight the scourge of disinformation. My question... In- is who's who's paying for this surgery? Who's who's footing the bill for uh, for this reconstructive surgery here uh, for baby dog? Uh, well, my ashtray can explain that very well. I'm going to have to get it out of the box. This, this is a special occasion. Uh oh. You want answers, folks? That's why you, you come have a to baby get dog ashtray. What the hell's going on? Uh, here? This that's a Liberty right. Radio exclusive. That, that 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 that's an ashtray an and, ashtray. and it, it, it's the tax it's coming out of the taxpayer's ass oh uh-huh. oh okay so where they usually get that, funding right. that that's right um, so like, thank you to um the oil well that never dries up th- thank you it's to beautiful. spencer's it's absolutely and, beautiful and the uh the original ashtray that's right okay yeah. We, we see, we've even got props in this radio. show, folks. We go all out. That's right. That's real fucking props. That that, that that's like a prop gun, right, Alec Baldwin? Um, it goes prop when you pull the trigger. That's right. Anyway. <laughs> oh my. That's true, because it's true. <laughs> so so did he get off? I know the gun did. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. I think, Too soon. Well, no. Apparently, he's. Uh, they're using him to test the double jeopardy rule. I think oh, is what's going right. on. So that so he again, got the daily double, Alex Trebek. Right, Way to go. right, right, right. So if they can, if they can convict him again the second time, I think that means that they can go after Alex Jones again, and then they can go after Trump again, uh, and oh, you know, shit. do do what the justice system was built for, right? become a true political tool to harass your opponents. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We're there. Just like they had in the Soviet Union way back when. That's what they call in Spanish una república bananera or banana republic. Hey, nice shirt. Where'd you get that? Yeah. So when when do they open up the gulags? That's my question. (laughs) Like, because I saw where this was heading years ago, right? It's not just based off of the research that I've done throughout the course of my life. I'm like, oh, they got camps and they're just waiting to use them. So when oh, do they start? I using have a them? theory. I yeah. have a theory. So um, ICE, or what I like to call vanilla ICE, that would be uh, Immigration and Customs Enforcement. ICE um, down on the border has uh, announced their secret plans to uh, reduce the number hey, of I'm beds to the occupied. Border from 38,000 to 22,000 and that they're just going to release so that they can frolic and gallop into the inner United States DMs um, 16,000 immigrant detainees. And so when everyone's Isn't screaming it take about... a long time to get to Chicago that way? Not with Greyhound and Amtrak. Okay. Um, they'll add extra trains. It's Biden loves the choo-choos. Anyways, you know... With 16,000, you know, immigrants uh, released into the wilds, everyone's screaming about that. No one is thinking like the Yona, hey, man, 
they've got 16,000 beds that are vacant and need to be filled with somebody else. You don't think they're going to close prisons in the United States anytime soon? What the fuck are you smoking? No, no I'm saying, come on, man. This is America. Don't you want more jobs? You can go get a great job at the jail, man. No, matter Bro, of fact. Bro, they're building new jails every day. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and the people <laughs> who actually want to do something productive with their money, they've been investing in private prison systems. Have been since the beginning of the scandemic. Now, get this. Uh, matter prison. of fact, I, I drove blow by. your when mind I was, right now. Hold, no, no, hold up. When I was on my way back from Acapulco, uh, I forget what state it was we were in in Mexico, uh, but we drove by two prison facilities in this state, federal prison facilities in Mexico, that both of them had been built within the last 10 years. It was Big unreal. Big yeah. business. Yeah. So here's Mexico. where I'm going to blow your mind. You go all the way back to, I think it was the year 1983, when the former St. Mary's College and Seminary in Marion County, Kentucky, about three miles west of Lebanon, Kentucky, home to also Republican Senator Jimmy Higdon, who we mentioned earlier in the newspaper about the bill to you know help out older homeowners reducing their property tax bill to zero. Not stealing Um, as much from them. And anyways, so the former St. Mary's College and Seminary property was converted thanks, well, for a while it was occupied by the Cornucopia Institute. So maybe it was 1987 when it became St. Mary's Prison. And the Corrections Corporation of America was incorporated at the facility because it was oh, the how first. Convenient. It was the very first private prison ever opened in the United States of America. And what year was that? I think 1987. Huh. And it was Corrections Corporation of America, or CCA. And that was their flagship. Um, pilot program in a public private partnership, baby. Oh, yeah. Mm. Huh. Mm. And so, I have no idea. And they hosted uh. at first just state prisoners and then also federal prisoners because it then became certified medium and minimum security. Never went full max because CCA hmm. ended up. Turns out, after that first experiment in private prison What was the name again? What was the full name? Corrections Corporation of America, St. Mary's Prison, Kentucky. Maybe I should look. You know what? I'll, I'll use this laptop with the fucking touchpad, even though. Oh, wow. But Wikipedia is like, no, you can't. You can't look for St. Mary's Prison. All right, so let's look for Corrections Corporation. C C A. St. Mary's Prison, Kentucky. Kentucky ends the C C A contract in 2013. Huh. Well. It's known as the Marion Adjustment Center. Adjustment Center. That sounds. What are they adjusting exactly? Marion. So is it? Uh, they're they're teaching. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, You're who, getting chiropractors. Adjust- they're teaching chiropractors. And of course, the CCA. By the no, way, wait, I should that's point not what out they're doing. Do they CCA still do lobotomies? changed their name. They're no longer known as Corrections Corporation anymore. They right. changed their name. They're the same company. They just changed their name because did they change Core it to Civic. Core Civic? Yeah, because yeah, Core that's Civic what, is classier. Yeah, that's what Wikipedia seems I, to like. Formerly the Corrections Corporation of America. That's right. 
is a company that owns and manages private prisons and detention centers and operates others on a concession basis. So what, they provide like the popcorn and the soda pop? Yeah, and it's really expensive, just like <laughs> at the movies. You know, it's twenty five dollars for uh, for a bucket of popcorn. Don't ask for butter. I mean, these are canteen rules. Huh. Unless you know one of the um, trustees, so you know, maybe. So again, according to Wikipedia, uh, it was co founded in nineteen eighty three in Nashville, Tennessee, by Thomas W. Beasley, Robert Krantz, and T. Don Hutto. Oh, oh, it that's a terrible was. Name. And it so received, it was 1983. 83. I and was it received, right. It received investments from the Tennessee Valley Authority, Vanderbilt University, and Jack C. Massey, founder of Hospital Corporation of America. Isn't that interesting? That's right. I mean, I don't know about you, but I just got a huge, throbbing, privatized boner. <laughs> Apparently, so did uh, T. Don Hutto. Yeah. Oof. Although he, he kind of he almost him Donnie sounds, Boy. He almost sounds like a smuggler in uh, Star Wars, right? Oh, that's Don Hutto. Yeah, Don Hutto knows Boba Fett. There you go. Yeah. They're both bounty hunters. But you know, Don Hutto helped me get one of my droids back. I highly recommend. R2-D2-T was uh, on the loose on the British Columbian coast out there in the Salish Sea. Well, it looks like Core Civic... Don Hutto fetched him for him. Yeah, Core Civic has apparently been supplanted as the leader in private prison systems because as of 2016... EO Corp? Uh, Wikipedia tells us that they are now the second largest private corrections company in the United States. So apparently, is G- is Core Geocorp Civic dead? fell off. Is, is it GeoCorp? I don't know. It doesn't really say who the number one is. Huh? How would you even go about finding that information out? Who's who's the biggest Ask private the Yona. prison Duh. system in, in the I United know States of America? Man. I, I I know more shit than fucking Wikipedia. So you say it's it's who? What's their name? GeoCorp. GeoCorp. Yeah, G E O C O R P. GeoCorp. Yeah, group. I know how to spell. Geo Group. Uh, is it GeoCorp? Well, there's Geo Corporation. Geo Group. Japanese Chris. video and yeah, media the rental Geo stores. Group. Yeah, there it is. Yep. 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 Well, no, this says Japanese video and media. What? Uh, so it's Geo Group. The, the Geo Group. The Geo Group is committed to providing oh, American institutional facilities, based company. rehabilitation programs to individuals while in custody and post release into the community. Evidence based oh, wow. rehabilitation programs modernized for the 21st century. So Wikipedia says they are technically a publicly traded C corporation that invests in private prisons and mental health facilities in North America, Australia, South Africa, and the United Kingdom. So they service all of the crown colonies as well as the throne itself. How about hey, that? When that you need a good institutional fix, comprehensive. you know, I mean, sometimes... Wow. On get back harder, you actually get back harder. I mean, it's kind of in the name. There it is. That's unreal. And so, yeah, at, as my memory was correct in my recollection, it it all began in the sleepy little town of St. Mary's, Kentucky, in 1983, with Don Hutto. I remember he was there with <laughs> shovel, and they broke ground at a facility that was already built, but. They put up taller fences around it um, and called it the St. Well, colloquially, it was known as the St. Mary's Prison, but they called it MAC, the Marion Adjustment Center. And it's been the Big Mac ever since. And it was kind of a choice spot for 
state and federal prisoners to land. They were always like, man, that's great at St. Mary's. Because they were oh, staying that, in old yeah. dorm rooms for seminarians. You know, it's really old stone buildings. It's, it's, it's really quite the great place. And, of course, there were escapes from St. Mary's constantly. Really easy place to escape from. Really? I guess that's why so many like to get there. Could be. Like, man, yeah. I'd love to get to St. Mary's. That's very good. Well, yeah, it's I, easy to I get back out of, something. you know. I get at that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there. Yeah. Then you got the whole, like, uh, the thrill of being out and, like, just living your life. And they don't know where I, the fuck I was you at are. a buddy of mine's house, Caleb. That's a great one feeling. Night, I've and been we told. heard all these coon dogs. It was awesome. It was so awesome, Drizzle. Like, I can't believe this story, man. It's like, so he's all like, okay, drugs were involved. Anyways, he's tripping on undisclosed. Um, I hope I didn't already say his name. Maybe I did. Oops. So, um, anyways, we're both high. I wasn't paying attention. Don't worry. I'm not going to tell anybody. But we're outside on the back porch, and like, faintly, we start hearing, like fucking coon dogs. You know, there's like two or three guys with teams of fucking coon dogs. And all of a sudden, they pop over the holler, and they're coming down the creek, and, you know, we can hear it echoing across the valley. Uh, And then we see the fucking lights go. And the, they turn on the fucking lights. Because he lives like a half mile from the Marion Adjustment Center. Founded by Corrections Corporation America, now known as Core Civic. And um, the, they turn on the fucking floodlights and they're like moving the floodlights around and looking. And they've got the two teams, the fucking. And I just, my, my mind at the time immediately just like went to like a movie scene from Alex Haley's The Roots, and I just picture, like, Kunta Kinte and three of his closest homies, like, you know, dragging chains through creeks and trying to outrun the fucking hmm. coon dog. Shame um, what they did to Toby. And then, like, three black dudes went running right past our porch. But anyways, back to you, Drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I was not expecting true that. True story. Yeah. True story. Wow. <laughs> he was still tripping. They went by. I thought, man, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I ain't answering <laughs> no questions. Because, I mean, I think they were they were in hot pursuit. I didn't want to do it. Uh, I, I seen him running up the road one way. I, I pulled out on the road, drove, went the other way. Yeah. that's Well, that's always I the best thing to do. I ain't answering no questions. Man, I'm high right now. And, I guess they, that, and, I mean, uh, just in general. Oh, yeah, yeah. He told me because, like, because he had a double wide trailer with, like, the trailer skirt underneath. And he said that when the, the spotlights got up close to his porch, he went underneath his trailer, you know, like, because there's, like, a, a spot where you can slide part of the trailer skirt to the side. Yeah. To get to the pipes and shit that are underneath the double wide trailer. And yeah. He went cross there. Yeah. While they were, I guess sniffing the footprints all the way out to the blacktop road. So. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> mm. private prisons, because like virtually easily, ninety percent of all the beds that are along the Mexican-U.S. border are private prison beds oh, on yeah. both sides. Oh, I guarantee. On it. both sides. Yeah, as you noted. Yeah. Before you even got to the U.S. border crossing. Whoa, brand new prison. Yeah, because it was closer Geo to group. the border than it wasn't. That's for sure. Even though I can't remember exactly what state it was. And how many crown colonies was Geo Group pimping the fucking private prison game? Uh, was it South Africa? Well, it, it said England. North America, so I imagine that's the United yeah, so, States so they're and probably Canada. The ones that built, yeah, yeah, they built the ones in Mexico, too, right there. Yeah. Call it, they're like M- Maquila Dora car sales. Yeah. Car sales for the cartels. There you go, buddy. Well, that's how they sell it to the people. You know. Carceles por carteles. It even yeah. rhymes in fucking Spanish. I can't be stopped. <laughs> Alguna a, a a marketing no campaign. me empiezas. Yeah. Porque yo estoy el corresponsal. 
Anyway, Viva Radio Libertad. Mm. All right. Where, where was that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but. Oh, yeah, that's right. Speak it. I we went back to the fucking Mexicano because of the Acapulcenses. Oh, yeah. I think that's what they're called. Acapulcenses. Acapulcenos. Acapulcenos. Yeah. Yeah. Acapulcenos, like Jeff Berwick and mm-hmm. all those anarcho uh, uh, anarcho poco mm-hmm. uh, anarcho polka dancers <clears throat> yeah polka music the big production down there that's going yeah. on this week yeah yeah because like charlie robinson came on the morning show this morning he was talking about all the oh was he i didn't get a chance to watch because i was and, yelling at my bank and and blunts and um i mean if jeff was there we all know there was body bumps i mean come on He's good for at least a couple of eight balls. This is Mexico. Viva la gasolina. Viva la cocaina. You yeah. would think. Yeah. Come on. I mean, you know, if you're going to wet the beak, you got to powder the tongue. Anyway. Anyway. And, 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 oh, dude, you can get whatever it, you want. It's not like here. a grift. It, 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 it's, it's more of a spiritual um, love fest, mm-hmm. what I heard described. Spiritual okay. love fest. Like, it's like ayahuasca with, with, with extra lube. You can get ayahuasca there. Exactly. Yeah. You can get whatever okay. you want. Like it's, uh, yeah. You just you have to know the right people, and once you do, you can get whatever you want. And I mean, literally, whatever you. The only thing I, I didn't you know, I see on a menu was adrenochrome, except maybe a beachfront apartment. I think they're still repairing. Or no, oh, this well. is Mexico. It's already fixed. No, I was talking about like drugs. Oh yeah, like, you can get whatever you want. You get a menu. Oh, yeah. to choose from. Yeah, snap. A and page. when I say menu, I mean pages. Yeah, it's beautiful. And and it's twenty four seven and cheap, like fucking OXO. If you know, you know. I wouldn't say cheap. I wouldn't say cheap necessarily. I'm talking about can, when you do the conversion get from dollars higher, to pesos. Uh, well, yeah, when you do the conversion, and it depends sure. on who you know. I mean, you know, if it, you know, if I mean, you're having to go through to the, the other marketplace, guy, you know, right? You know, That's the way I always looked at it. Is the it was the pricing was tailored to the marketplace? Yeah, you know, you're paying I'm sure that Z-Wataneo fucking. Yeah, you know, the prices I was seeing in Acapulco, you're probably not going to see like out in the hill country. If, if you even get like delivery service out in the hill country, I don't know how it works out there. I only know how it works in the city, and in the city, it worked beautifully, from my perspective. Well, I'm not going to fuck up again and say my plugs they in Ecuador, so I'm just going to call them. Um, Uh, pan flute smirk. Somebody's getting angry. Pan flute. We'll call them pan flute smirk. So my homie, pan flute smirk. Yeah. Would show up on his little scooter moped thing. And that motherfucker was 24 <clears> 7. <throat> that was amazing. <clears throat> yeah. Pan flute had that good, good shit, man. And he was getting it from um, Cochabamba and somewhere else. And um, what was the other place? Cusco. Oh, uh, man. I had this Cusco Kush. Holy shit, man. Because, you know, it turns out the Incan Empire, you know, Atahualpa and all those guys, um, the Incan leader, Tupac Amaru, for whom Tupac Amaru Shakur was named by his mother. Um, he wasn't the first Tupac. He's actually named after Tupac Amaru, Sapa Inca of the Incan Empire. Anyways, they turns out they've been smoking the weeds for a long fucking time, all the long way time. back before the Saxa Human and all these other fucking uh, Machu Picchu and all that shit. Ask Tony Myers about it. Anyways. Oh, right, that was it. the deal. I thought there was more coming. So. Uh, just just a lot of weed smoking, man. Yeah. You know, I don't know if I've covered it before, but we get the very word marijuana or marijuana from Hernan Cortez because 
Mm-hmm. He's the one that marched from Veracruz to Puebla and got the Pueblans and the Tlaxcalans and the other and the Morelians and all the other ones to, you know, um, competing tribes with the Aztecs, who the Aztecs had conquered. And we were all like, yeah, it's great. We're marching to Tenochtitlan across the canals and kick ass. Yeah, it was. So uh, they did. <clears throat> it was so a, did. what, a transliteration of a misunderstanding? Yeah. Isn't that right? And, and so he meets with Montezuma, that Cortez, the conquistador, that is, and he's meeting with Montezuma. Montezuma introduces him to the brown drink, which he calls chocolatel, which is made of something they call cacao. And so Cortez called that the chocolate drink made with the cacao bean, um, co- coca bean. Right. Um, and then, and then he introduces him to, uh, well, there was chocolate and, and nachos. That's right. Uh, no, nachos was the third thing. Second thing was the marijuana. Yeah. yeah. And so he packs a bowl and he passes the bowl to Cortez. Cortez hits it. And of course, Cortez, after he's done coughing, that's his name. Through his translator, El Malinche, La Malinche, I'm sorry, his 12 year old um, newest bride. Um, that's borderline pedophilia, Cortez. Uh, he's a conquistador, different rule. So, anyways, because, um, uh, you know, raping and pillaging kind of go hand in hand. I'm just saying, non well, It's aside. part of conquest, isn't it? Yeah. And so they were conquistadors. Like, well, yeah, so, yeah. So what, yeah, what the just fuck makes is sense. this? What the fuck is this called? And Montezuma explains, Mali ha huana, grass that makes you drunk. Mali ha huana, grass that inebriates, grass that fucks you up. And so he called it marijuana. Hmm. Boom. Name stuck. And then. Hmm. And then the U.S. federal the government weaponized he it gave in the 1930s. The fucking nachos with the jalapenos and the avocado and the bean dip and everything. And cheap. After three days. Damn, they had bean dip Deep. all the way back then? Because it's an Aztec food. Seriously? Beans and corn and guacamole. Oh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, that, that's an Aztec food. Yeah. And so he, he turned them on to nachos. And then the fourth thing. Cortez, inter, um, Montezuma, Damn. Moctezuma. So we wouldn't have Cortez. nachos without Montezuma. Think That's about right. That. Fourth thing that he introduced to Cortez was his wife, which was a mistake. Oh, well, of course. Because Cortez was a polygamist. I mean, La Malinche was just his 12-year-old. That was just his youngest wife, I think. There could have been younger. Mm. I'm not sure, actually. Um. Could you not imagine? really even sure if you would call it them married, just that he owns them and Could, got fucked them. So maybe they were more like fuck slaves than wives. Could you imagine if they had the internet wives. back then? You know, I'm not even going to consider them wives, just sex slaves. Well, so anyways, he killed Montezuma and, and took yeah. Montezuma's wife as his new bottom bitch uh, sex slave. Because I'm Damn. just ditching the whole wife thing with Cortez. That's cold. But who's kidding? Who? It, it's not even consensual. It's not like they're domestic. Wow. It's not like they're partners. He, he just goes and rapes whoever, whenever. Because he's a con. You know, you know who I think Cortez would have had a really good friendship with. Easy Andy E. Blinken. No. Yeah. Easy E. Easy E. Yeah. Real motherfucker. I think they would have been buds. Yeah, man. Like straight out of K did. Yeah. But but it's Compton. Yeah. Cadiz, it's bad, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so speaking of, of uh straight out of Compton, you know. You can't get any fact harder than some etymological fucking backstories to where the word fucking marijuana came from. There That's you why you can always count on the high Yona. To get you intellectually stoned. All right. uh, it's what people pay the price of admission for. I don't know. Was somebody questioning it? 
I thought we did a pretty good job advertising. You know, I, you know, each and every episode of Get Back Harder, I have to put the er. You know, pretty soon it's going to be Get Back or Harder. <laughs> you know, I don't know if that, we have that, enough space for that on the thumbnail. We're kind of running out of space the, as it is. That's the second season. Yeah. When we find out. Um, oh, we're doing, we got renewed? Well, in the second season, spoiler alert, there's going to be some colorectal work on uh, baby dogs' um, <laughs> anal cancer. That's, um, anyways, th there'll be headline updates in all of the local uh, papers. Don't worry about it. Oh, wow. I think we just got canceled. Man. And that's why Ryan We were calls doing so good. Clown world I think shit. we're going to be getting censored. Yeah. Clown world shit. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's literally like something the onion would write. Governor's dog no doubt. recovers from surgery. This is also something like what the onion would write. Did, did you know that uh, we now have to call her Dr. Greta Thunberg. Oh, no. Yeah. She's a doctor now, just like Bill Gates and uh, Tedros. How dare you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Wow, she's a doctor just like Jill Biden. That's right. Well, that's awesome sauce. That's right. Her parents would be so proud. They've, they've been grooming her for about 20 years now. <laughs> 20, 20, 21, 22, something like that. Yeah, I think so. You know, I might have somewhere, to somewhere the Bosad has a spring break gone wild video of Greta Thunberg. You think? That's why she always votes with Israel. But and she's not I the thought... only one. I thought she, wait, I thought she was on the side of the Palestinians. Like, I thought she was angry with Israel. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you didn't see that? I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that I was did. like back in November or December yeah, or something. Right. It's like she was all like making a big deal out of, you know, uh, free Palestine. I'm, I'm Greta, free Palestine. I'm Greta. Yeah, I remember now. That's the first I ever heard her say anything about it. But but she was, as, yeah, as so she, she tends is... to be, rather vocal in her, her tiny little spotlight. Yeah, she is. Uh, she was born January third, two thousand three. So she is. She does not know, uh, a world before the twenty first century. She is. Uh, what do you? What would you call that type of person? Uh, someone who's been groomed for 20 years, Alex. There you go. No, oh, I'd like to wager $2,500 on this daily double. Uh, wasn't it Magnuson or something that was the father? Isn't she from like Sweden? Yeah. Something like that. One of those Norwegian things. Shout out to my main man, Odin. And slow biking class. But is is that like the quickest doctorate in uh, in Grand Theft World history? Because again, she just turned twenty one this year. Wow! And she's I already think the only one that got a doctorate degree faster. Neil Patrick Harris was Doogie Howser. Yeah. How long did it take uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson? Uh, he was doctor material by age fourteen. No. You Doogie Howser, man. That was on TV. It was real. I mean, if it's on real, I, they can't fake that shit. Haven't you seen the moon landing? Haven't you <laughs> seen those movies of the nuclear tests? Uh-huh. I mean, you know that's a powerful nuclear explosion when the truck parked next to the house vanishes two frames before the explosion. Why? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be scared, too. You'd get the fuck out of there before <laughs> the explosion. Right. I'm not going out with this fucking explosion. Yona. Yeah, Y'all can take pictures of this house and then blow up the model that you have over Yona. there. That's me. how you know it's real. Because it looks so fake. 
You see? Don't you know that? My first hit song was World War Three. World War Three Save Our Economy. That was my first hit song. And it's got the intro with, you know, Eisenhower giving his famous military industrial complex speech, you know, and all that shit. And when it came to making the video, you know, I had footage of World War One, and I had footage of World War Two, but for World War Three, as the song goes, you know, brace for nuclear shockwave. I'm like, well, fuck, I gotta, I gotta get this video has to have those black and white stock footage, you know, nuclear test where it's got the mannequins getting blown through the windows, and shit, mm. you know. I gotta have that for this song. And so I ended up making two or three different videos for the song because there ended up being like two or three different versions of that song as it progressed and I kept recording more parts. But anyways, with each iteration, you know, after about 15 or 16 times of watching the the nuclear test video, I just start picking out one thing after another, after another. Because, you know, it's this whole thing of yeah, like, it's you like know, watching a moon landing video. You're like, wait a minute. Yeah, what's, exactly. What's, you know, what's it's creating, like, once you, where's the slight source? Once you become hip to the Hollywood tricks, it, you can't, you, once you start seeing it, you can't unsee it. Right. It's like, and then in everything you see, you you've got that critical eye. It's like the the it's like you're wearing those special they live sunglasses, and it's like that's that's a good analogy. Yeah, it really is. It's perfect. And, and plus, you know, when it comes to video editing, when you listen to an audio visual syncing production like a music video or whatever you're editing that's got video and audio track, um, you know. And you're just sitting there over and over, take after take after take. Yeah, you just start picking other things out. Mm -hmm. You start hearing all these other things that you don't really hear on the first or second blush, you know. Um, and I was like, oh, my God, this is, this is awesome. So then when it came to remixing Stevie Wonder and Pharrell Williams and Nigel... Uh, Davis of uh, Chic and Daft Punk, that song. Um, we rob a Mexican monkey. We'll rob them. No, um, we're up all night to get lucky. That's right, <laughs> get lucky. We'll rob a Mexican monkey. They they I'm actually do actually, so actually many monkeys say that. in Mexico. They, they, Maybe they I wasn't in the right part. That. Um, you got to get down below Oaxaca. Gotcha. Anyway, so, be Hermosa. Uh, what was it? Um, Tawan Tepec. Yeah. Tepec. Um, but anyways, I, once I got done with that song, I was like, for some reason, well, oh, because you talk about in the beginning, the legend of the Phoenix and like something about being out in the galaxy or something. I don't know. And I just, I immediately thought, when I go to make the video for this, it's got to be all that. I got to find me fucking moon footage. But I want the really, really good moon footage where they're driving the lunar rover and they got all these cool moon shit and they're just doing, you know, show after, I'm sorry, um, broadcast after broadcast. Did I say show? <laughs> oh, the man. Same difference people don't know by now Come shout out on. laurel canyon but anyway so yeah. shout out lookout um, mountain you know i've had so much fun making the videos but the last video i made i think it was for for the fifth remix of norman finkelstein probably the laziest video i've ever made i just looped together a camel shaking its ass <laughs> six and a half minutes because I figure if you're investing over six minutes of your time listening to Norman Finkelstein, you're definitely on so many drugs at that point 
you don't really fucking care what's on the screen. You probably are so fucked up at that point, pretty much blind and drunk <laughs> on mushrooms or something. So, isn't, isn't I'm, that I'm also say going Norman, to deter people Dr. from Funkelstein actually watching like, it? Dr. Funkelstein should be taken like, at least with maybe some San Pedro cactus or ayahuasca mushrooms. I, I tell you really what, anything. I would like to Bath try salts. some San Pedro. I really would. Yeah. I hear a lot of good things about San Pedro. I would hit this song and then the Hondiana solo uh, Chris Rank cast uh, DJ Yona track there. Oh, yeah. Which I, the Ewok man, song. Man, we got to do a victory lap, man. You had an awesome interview with Rant last Friday. Oh, he did not run out epic. of Rant. He, he went the full three hours. Like yeah, way way over eight seconds. He definitely rode that bull. Oh but yeah. Then I think it was. Let's see. Saturday, I was on the new Prisoners podcast again, and then Sunday, we were both at one time, both on uh, Mike the Polymath. Easy peasy podcast. Well, no, that was that was a WTF forum. Yeah, what the fuck forum? Right? Yeah, with Mike the Polymath. Yeah, Which, and that was Sunday. Yeah, because yeah. when we got done, it was like Grand Theft World show. Was well, we done. still went on for like I think another two hours after you tapped out on Sunday. Believe it or not. Yeah, because I I had to jump over to the Grand Theft World chat. The, Start dropping tramp stamp jokes. Oh, uh, I see. It's kind of it's kind of my thing. I was I was I having do. fun uh, hanging out with Rob because I don't get oh, to well, see a whole lot of Rob. When I jumped off there, I had two kids that, that were not. Going That's to right, sleep. you did, you did. So they I were had crying yodelings in the background. Uh, yeah, you could hear it's them. It's recorded. Yeah, you can go and check it out. It's over on the Easy Peasy Podcast channel over on the YouTube's. It's last week's WTF forum beautiful you know in fact that may i think that's the only time that we have both been on a forum simultaneously because you will well, find other than Bristol, town hall right oh yeah that and town hall but yeah. um so other than grand theft world turf that's the first away mm -hmm. game where you got both your stockton and malone at the same time and we did throw a couple of assists back and forth, of course. Yeah, again, Drizzle told you over on the YouTube where you can follow, you know. Yeah. It's some good NCAA Division One type intellectual action. There you go. And after all, you know, conference tournaments are right around the corner, and then it'll be time to fill out your March Madness bracket so we can all do that good American pie pass oh. type of gambling on sports games. Anyway, back to you, Drizzle. I wonder, I wonder if that's why SpaceX has all of their launch pads occupied with, uh, with rockets that are ready to launch, like at a moment's notice. Like all at the same time, they're all lined up and ready to go to celebrate March Madness. It has to be. Yeah. And make sure, and make sure that the signal gets out to everybody uh, in America, and I guess the rest of the world too, I don't know, to, Whatever, but you know, because you, you can't, you cannot uh, lose your March Madness in an election year. That would be unheard of, right? Did they do that before? Did that happen last time? Did that get canceled? They, yeah, they they canceled the entire fucking tournament. Yeah, boy, that was a sucky year. Yeah. I don't remember. I was only watching like mostly UFC in 2020. Because there was no so. way to socially distance and play basketball. Well, no, not until they developed that uh, super high technology, I think straight from, from NASA, because uh, it was down there in Florida. The bubble. You remember the bubble? Yeah. The bubble uh, protected you from COVID so you could play basketball. It was amazing. That was yeah, better than like oversized um, sumo wrestling suits. Yeah, that's fun if you ever get the chance. 
definitely, definitely should ink that on your uh, bucket list. My God, I have made so many songs. It's just been an absolute whirlwind. And now that I've got all these new sounds to Dead Fella, and he's just going ape shit with it. He's already sent me two songs. He, he, he's like a kid in the candy store. I turn good. him on that good shit. I got him on that good shit now, Drizzle. Dude, Ain't no that, going back that out. That song that he did Mozart with, uh, instruments. That song with Kingsley that he just dropped at the beginning of the week, dude. That was fucking awesome. Which one, Lazarus? Lazarus, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I worked all the chords on that song. Wow. I didn't sing or I helped all the music on that. Yeah, there's some very interesting rhythms in that song. Yeah, he's he's getting so much better. I mean, not that he was ever bad, but it, it just continues to elevate his game in terms of production skills. And I mean, I you can tell like when I, I take my raw song and then I combine it with Dead Fella and it becomes a Red Fella song. It's a totally different song. Hmm. Takes it a totally different, like, you know. I mean, Phosphor Size is a good song, but it's a great song with them and then even better with the re record. And so, you know, because you just, you work with these softwares long enough and, I mean, Dang. either you figure it out or you do something else, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. That stuff well, always kind of came natural to me. So I, it, giving up was never like actually an option. It was no, it, it has to be figured out. Oh man, there was this, uh, I now I remember I was remixing Roberta Flack with Miles Davis and something else. And it, uh, and that one's called Convicted Freylon hmm. from Freylon Brum, because you know the the song Freylon Brum from uh, Miles Davis's album Fia to Kilimanjaro is the one that I sampled. Hmm. Um, I shared that on the Telegram, but you share a lot of stuff on the Telegram, uh, no, which surprises no. me that more people don't join the Telegram with the amount of stuff that gets shared in there. Yeah, and, and then sometimes I'll be real sneaky and I'll hide it in the comments. Mm. Yeah, you do that shit. Post. I've noticed that. Um, you know, and, and then every now and then I'll use it. Like, I like, thought I was the master at hiding shit in comments, and here you are doing it in the Liberty Radio Telegram channel, just like a little sneak thief. But, you know, the, those are little pearls of love that the Yoda leaves all over the telegram. That's why if you haven't Just joined... Just like the squirrels. You really should. <laughs> you should. Even, Convicted Freylon. little surprises everywhere. All right, there it is. Why are there two? That one's an MP3 at 219. And that one's a wave at 127. So this one's longer, obviously. Huh. Well, Well, let's see here. Not necessarily. There you go. Here's here's two minutes, and we might just let that play out to the midnight hour. Hmm. That'd be perfect if we can time it just right. So it's eleven fifty six. So got two minutes to bullshit. Let me get this in over here. Yeah. Damn. All right, and that'll be the last Damn. thing. Convicted Freylon Brun. So this is I don't remember mixed with I don't remember mixed with Miles Davis mixed with Roberta Flack. Wow. Oh, I don't remember because I made the beat, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 224. Yeah, I, I, I do that sometimes. Two minutes, 24 seconds. Yep. And so at 11.57, 30 seconds. So, Blessings to everyone always. And take care out there. All right. Well, I guess this is how we're going to be ending the show tonight. That's pretty cool. Cause that means I don't, I don't have to work for the last two minutes of the show. And I certainly appreciate that. So thank you, Yona. That's right. Now we just hit weed and listen to Miles Davis and Roberta Flack. Get down DJ Yona style. Yeah. Well, as soon as, as soon as the, uh, 
I get the green light from the broadcast clock. Because you know, we got to make sure we get it to midnight. Otherwise, people can sue us. Yeah, there can't be any dead air. And All it's right, only 24. I got the green light. Keep that open. Oops. Yep. All right. Alert the affiliates. We're going long, folks. Now we can fix it in post. I know. I know. We were going so good, too. Isn't that groovy? Oh, here we go. We'll just run it back. See, that was the easy cut right at the trumpet. Nip. There, I even held still for the cut. <laughs> That's it. We'll see you next week, everybody.